Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Sagittarius. This is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of February. Keep in mind the timing is fluid, and this reading may or may not be for you. We're going to start right here. What do we have for Sagittarius? You know, I think you guys are on the right path. I think things should be starting to feel uh, better, okay? If things have been stressful, you may be starting to feel a little bit more at ease. Things are changing, and they're changing for the better. Um, I think you're, you're definitely on the right path. What do we have for Sagittarius? Phoenix rising. Now, this is Phoenix rising from the ashes after a dark night of the soul moment, right? After being at rock bottom. Perhaps something, you know, there's been some sort of experience that, you know, it was transformational, right? You've been through some sort of transformational situation, um, obviously. You know, and now it's like rising from it. It's it's like a death, right? This that's what the phoenix rising. You're not even the same person that you used to be. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and read that because it's such a profound card. Look at the focus going in and out. It's becoming a whole new you. Everything in your life is falling apart in order for you to rise from the ashes with renewed strength. This is not a time to create, but a time to sweep away everything that has not worked in your life. The reason so many things are breaking down and not going your way is because the old cycle of your life is completing. I don't know if that's going to focus in or not. I'm going to change it real quick. And it's funny, I'm going to change the settings and you're probably good. So it's even going to let me. It's not. Anyway, so you're going through a profound change right now. That is exactly what's happening. Yeah, so things are going to be going in and out. That's pretty freaking interesting. <sighs> you may feel that you are walking through the fires of life right now in order to be cleansed and purified for your rebirth. Soon you will not recognize yourself. You are reclaiming your spirit. If possible, try to isolate yourself from the chaos surrounding you. Now is the time for you to feel any pain that you have previously suppressed so that you can heal. The universe has plans and opportunities that are better than you can imagine. So let go and trust and anticipate what is coming. Something beautiful is coming for you, Sagittarius. Can you feel it? Do you see it? Do you know it? Because I know that it is. Okay. We're going to get a couple of these. Two cards for Sagittarius, please. So you, it may be painful. This transformation that you're going through may be painful right now. It's like something, in, and you are being called to let it happen, okay? What doesn't serve you needs to be removed. And yeah, it's painful. It's painful. Transformation, death, change isn't easy. So it's a struggle. So that's what's going on here. But you're going to come out smelling like a rose. Turkey. Oh. I'm going to pick that up in just a minute. One more. One more card, please. One card for Sagittarius. One card. Here it is. Turkey. Someone is behaving stupidly. Cobweb. Protected from negative forces beyond your control. You have been protected. Somebody in your circle, or maybe it's even you, is behaving stupidly. 
consider whatever it is that is leaving your life or has left your life or that you have been removed from or whatever the case is, however it resonates with you, consider it a protection. Okay, because whoever it is that you were dealing with was probably being stupid or maybe you were. Somebody was behaving stupidly, obviously. And so you were protected. And it's time to remove everything that doesn't serve you. So keep that in mind. So this is going to be a month of cleansing. What do we have for Sagittarius? It's not easy. You, it's not going to be easy. I, get, I know that it's... See, there's no such thing as coincidence. It's really not going to be easy. It's going to be a troublesome month. I know that it is. It is. And, but it's a good thing. It really is a good thing. So consider that. Because it is a good thing. So what do we have for Sagittarius? Eight of Wands. Now, this is triumphant news arriving on swift wings. This is the overall energy right now, okay? Right now, this is where you're at. This is you moving very fast. Uh, things happening fast. Things are really, really uh, communicating with people. I think that you are moving forward. Things are changing. It's like things are coming at you from all different directions. Uh, the changes that are happening within you are happening fast. There's forward movement. You may be receiving messages from all kinds of people or from within. Okay, there's a lot of, there could be a lot of communication coming your way, coming from you. You know, there's just a lot of things happening right now in your life. Very busy, 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 busy. I think that you're ready. I think that you are ready for this change. You are, you are, you are, right? King of Swords. Now you could be dealing with a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. I would say that, that there's a decision that is being made based on some sort of facts. Okay. And this isn't about feeling. This is about the facts. So somebody is making a decision based on the facts. Um, that's the challenge though. You know, using your mind, using your head, not letting your emotions get the best of you. You may have been dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius in your past. That was, you know, this person was very, and maybe it's you. This is somebody who is oh, belligerent, no offense. I'm not sure if it's you, but somebody that gets angry very easy. Uh, this is somebody that uh, is throws tantrums is self-righteous, conceited, self-centered, unreasonable. This person it doesn't reason with anybody and know it all. Okay, we definitely, this is, you know, maybe that that was in the past. I mean, that could be you in the past or it could be somebody that you're dealing with. Could be another person. This is somebody who uh, is forceful, very forceful, um, melodramatic, uh, manipulative, somebody that lies. And it, it, it could be you or somebody else, okay? But in, this is in the past, okay? This is somebody that forces their will and doesn't listen. It's like, they're unreasonable. There's somebody that is unreasonable here, all right? Um, let's keep going. But he, look at this. Look at this. This is, this is you up here. The temperance reverse, extremely unhealthy. So there's somebody that something is off. And that's why we have Phoenix rising. If you are feeling unhealthy, if you are getting frustrated, if you are feeling sick, if you are feeling depleted, there's something that needs to go. And it could be an addiction. It could be a person. I don't know who it is. It could be Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. It could be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I don't know. Um, it could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. We have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio twice. It may have something to do with a relationship. It obviously does because of these cards. There's like a relationship that you are in that is very unhealthy and it's depleting you of energy. There's a lot of inappropriate behavior. Somebody's acting inappropriately. And I feel like right now you are probably frustrated very fr frustrated and it's like this is such a negative situation you have to let it go you have to you have to 
and it is going to be painful. There's a lack of emotional support here. Um, the Queen of Cups reverse, whether this is a person or you taking on this energy, this is in your near future. This is emotional shutdown. So you may be shutting down your feelings or you're dealing with somebody that is. You know, I gotta, I got, it's not about, I gotta, I gotta master your emotions, okay? Now this is head over heart, you know? Um, don't, you know, this is somebody that can't master their emotions, very, very, it could be a very, a very emotional time. You could be dealing with somebody that is very melodramatic and uses emotional blackmail as a tool, you know, to keep you tied to them. They, they, they emotionally belittle you or make you feel like guilty, you know, that kind of thing. If, oh my God. I think uh, you may have gotten yourself into a false relationship with this Knight of Cups reversed. Um... <clears throat> You know, I feel like um, maybe you didn't see it. Maybe you were hoping, you know, you were hoping that this was going to work out. But whoever you're dealing with, it looks to me as though they are emotionally unavailable. They're very needy. There's somebody here that is selfish and high maintenance. Very high maintenance. Very selfish. Like, it's all about me. It's all about me. And relationships don't work that way. They don't. So I feel like this month, let's get the rest of the cards, you are definitely overwhelmed. And I think that you are, you know, considering your worth. You may also have somebody in your environment that is very valuable and you don't want to miss this opportunity because we have the empress over here so if you are the male sagittarius work uh watching this you could be dealing with a taurus or a libra or anybody that is valuable this person um is a caregiver this person is tender this person is sweet this person is sensual this person uh is abundant and they're very family oriented, very down to earth, very motherly. This is in your environment. So this is a motherly individual in your environment that you are probably uh, thinking about or this person is influencing your decision in some way. If you are the feminine watching this, perhaps this is the energy you need to take on. This is somebody who knows their value and knows their worth and will not settle for anything less than the best. Okay? The Empress doesn't settle for anything less than the best. She doesn't play games. She's not this over here. This is somebody who involves themselves in third-party situations because they're so needy. This person does not. So there's two different, completely different people here. So Sagittarius, I feel like in your environment, you know, you may be becoming the Empress if you are the woman. Or there is an Empress around a, a, a masculine. A masculine has their eye on this person who is, this person is bountiful. Okay, she, and everybody, she's glowing. She's beautiful. Uh, it's easy to see that she, who, who she is, okay? Everybody can see it. She's a domestic goddess. She's caring. She's nurturing. She does it all. So, um, up here, in your hopes and fears, there's distrust. Somebody doesn't trust. There's a lack of trust. Nine of Wands reversed. There's, there's a lot of hard feelings here. There's angry. We have somebody here that is angry about how life has, tri what life has thrown at them, what life has given to them. But you, it, you're, you're, this is like, you're, you own it. This is soul ownership here. You own it. You have to accept that, you know, you made the choices that you made and, you know, just it's time to step forward and step out of that space where you've been. This is somebody that um, keeps repeating their their negative patterns. Very guarded, not trust. So in your your, your it's like you don't trust, and if you don't trust, or you're or maybe this person that somebody doesn't trust. This is a fearful of getting rejected as well, perhaps by this empress. If you are the masculine watching this, you're probably this is fearful of rejection. <laughs> it is. So that's 
probably the case. I'm, I'm pretty sure about that. So, um, fearful of being rejected by this person, which is understandable. And then up here, the four of wands reverse. That's, that's, you know, the four of wands is about happiness, happily ever after. It's about commitment. It's about, you know, getting married someday, uh, unity, building a foundation, uh, happily ever after. It really is. Um, but it, it is in reverse. I think there could be fear of commitment here. So the outcome is, you know, lack of happiness because of fear. Oh my goodness. Some of you may be going through some sort of split as well, because that could be a breakup. Four of Wands reverse. The party is over. The, the honeymoon is over. It's like, we're no longer compatible. You're not marriage material. There's somebody else. So, you know... This is like a split, the Four of Wands. The overall outcome is letting go of something like that card said. So I think this month you're going to be wiping something out of your life that doesn't serve you anymore because you're not that same person anymore and neither are they. And I think it's it's about value. It's about value. It's about tender, loving care. It's about love. It's about wanting love. That's what the Empress is about. It's about love. Love, 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 love. Lo uh, the Empress is the goddess of love. And that's what you want. You want to be cherished, right? You want to be taken care of. You want to be, you know, put on that pedestal. And that's what the Empress does. If you are the masculine, the Empress puts you on a pedestal. She builds a freaking pedestal. And if you are the feminine watching this, this is you wanting to have somebody build you a pedestal and treat you like a queen. You want to be treated like a queen. You don't want to be treated like a whore. Like nothing. Now this person gets treated like nothing because they're so forceful. When you try to force your way into somebody's life or you try to force anything, all it does is cause animosity. It causes hate. You shouldn't have to force a relationship. You shouldn't have to force love. The Empress doesn't force love. It comes natural. It's easy. So I think this month that you guys are going to be wiping something out of your life that doesn't serve you anymore. I see high frustrations over a commitment that is no longer, there's no happiness here. It's like we're not even on the same page. There's not even any love. Whoever you're, there's somebody here that is, uh, it's basically this person is an emotional wreck. They are. And I think that, you know, it's like they're, they're wicked. There's wickedness here. We have somebody here that is wicked. There's jealousy as well. You may be dealing with somebody who is wicked jealous. And it's just, it's just like, oh my God, I can't deal with this. Or it could be you that's wicked jealous. Somebody is making a decision. And they're making a decision to move forward. Because where they're at, there's no balance. There's no harmony. There's no, there's a lack of cooperation. You guys, it's like you just don't get along. So yeah, I feel like this is a month of, you know, birthing a new life. Perhaps with somebody else going in a new direction. Um, so what do we have in the future? What do we have in the future? A three of pentacles reverse not working with this person anymore you're not on the same page there is a relationship that is not on the same page there's no harmony i just said it there's a need to refocus it's like you guys don't even respect each other there's the lack of respect so somebody is making a decision to end this relationship one more card please Three of Swords reversed. Three of Swords is pain. It's a painful separation to focus on the future. And it is. I see heartbreak. This is heart. There is heartbreak here. But 
You have to deal with the pain. The Empress has to deal with pain to get the biggest reward ever. So there's some sort of pain that you are going to have to deal with. And it, it requires you to leave something that isn't meant for you. You think about the Phoenix rising. After the death is the rebirth. And it's the birth of all births. It's the birth of a beautiful new life. So you are about to give birth to a beautiful new life. But before that, there is going to be a painful exit. And that is what I see. Good luck. Here it is. That's your birth of a new life. That's tender love and care. That's love and abundance. Good luck.